This film supplements the instructions for use and aids understanding. The film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use, nor does it eliminate the need to provide the prescribed induction or training. This film introduces two devices, the Draeger XAM 3500 for the measurement of up to four gases and the Draeger XAM 8000, which can monitor up to seven gases. This video shows the XAM 8000 with only four sensors. The handling of the XAM 3500 works in the same way as for the XAM 8000. The pump adapter must be screwed on in order to turn on the pump. To do this, place the pump adapter on the thread of the front cover, then align and tighten. The pump will turn on automatically. Always use the pump adapter with the dust and water filter. The pump test will start automatically. Close the gas inlet at the end of the probe until the leak test is complete. Then release the gas inlet. If the leak test is successful, pump mode will be activated. If the pump test is unsuccessful, check the probe, hose and adapter as required and repeat the test. Once the device has passed the test, it is ready for operation in pump mode. Before every measurement, flush the sampling hose or probe with the target gas. Flooding is required to reduce negative influences, such as the gas transport time, for example. As a rule of thumb, a time of 3 seconds per meter can be assumed for standard gases. Wait until the values on the display appear stable. Special gases may require more time. Please note, after flooding with aggressive gases, Purge the pump with clean air for several minutes in order to extend the pump life. To end the pump measurement, loosen the pump adapter screw and pull off the adapter. The instrument will automatically switch to diffusion mode 